I am out with uh, Magi on her uh, first uh, leash walk. I thought I'd film it. Right there you see Magi. And uh, we've walked about a block to get to this spot here. And uh, I'll basically show you what I do when I'm uh, training puppies on a lead for the first time. You know, when I first start puppies out on a leash, uh, my idea is to get them used to uh, being off leash. And uh, so I start out with a very light flexi lead like this. It's one I use with my three pound Yorkie. I like to use that because it gives the dog the uh, illusion that it's not on a leash because the retract pull is very soft on it. And uh, it's there if I need to give them a little tug or coaxing along, but otherwise they feel like they're off leash. And I think starting with them this way at a young age really uh, imprints on them to follow along on our uh, off leash hikes. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, this is all new to her. Good girl. I like to use a lot of praise. You want to keep these sessions fun and positive. Now that clicking noise you'll hear me make, that's what I used to call them along. You know, from the time that they, uh, every time I feed them, I make that clicking noise when I give them their food. And they associate it with something positive. So then, good girl, go potty. So then when I'm in a situation like this, when I click, they automatically want to come to me because that's been imprinted on them that that's something positive. And again, all that translates later on to my uh, off-leash stuff with them, too. You'll uh, see if you watch some of my uh, videos with me hiking with the dogs off-leash that uh, I often communicate with them in uh, various clicks and whistles. Good girl. I like this pup. She's a spunky little thing. Girl. She's doing very good for her first time on a leash. Again, I just give a little click, and then she comes. And again, I could have her off leash right now, and she'd be responding the same way. This is the time to develop and imprint this behavior on them. When they're young, they have the urge to follow and stick with you. If you wait a little longer, like a month or two, you're going to have a dog that's more independent and uh, more apt to go off on its own. So she's sniffing there. I'm going to give her just a little tug. Come on. Good girl. And then we'll give her a big praise. Good girl. Good girl. Again, you just want to keep it positive. Good girl. Again, she's a happy pup. I really like both her and her brother. They're really nice breeding. Keep tying me up in the leash when I can't switch hands with the phone. <laughs> you having fun, sweetheart? Good girl.
So that's Halo's first walk. And, uh, or not Halo, jeez. Magi's. I miss Halo, you can tell, can't you? That's Magi's first walk. She did very good. Again, just like Wrecker, I've been, uh, you know, for the last 25 years breeding the uh, Renaissance Bulldog to be a working breed, which means that uh, they tend to be more receptive to training in that than your typical bull breed, because again, that's what I've selected for over the last 25 years. I think you can see with uh, some of the puppies I've shown recently that uh, they take to training pretty easy and aren't uh, as stubborn as your typical bull breeds. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye from me and Miss Halo. See ya.